<coughs> so, uh, you guys, your boy Perry over here, aka Don Donsky. So we just got out of uh, kind of a long, long day trying to go see this movie Midsummer. We were originally going to go to a four o'clock showing, uh, and then our our GPS uh, gave us the wrong directions, and so it took us to another theater. So then we went to the other theater, but when we got there, uh, they only had one seat, and it was in the front <laughs> row. So then we waited till 7 o'clock, uh, in which we hung out in an abandoned, pretty much, on its last leg, Fry's uh, Electronics to go see this movie. Anyway, so we, we just saw Midsummer, and uh, yeah, not quite what I expected. Not at all. No. So, it definitely, it, if anything, I feel like it, it, they could have made it a comedy instead of it really, it just took itself so seriously. I mean, the cinematography was really good. A lot of the scenes with the flowers and uh, stuff like that was, uh, it was cool the way they shot that, but... I mean, as far as everything else goes, like plot-wise, you know, there, there's not necessarily plot holds, but this thing's, uh, it's just got a neglected childhood. You know, it, it addresses something big in the beginning of the movie, and it never really looks at it again. It didn't really follow through with, like, the original, like, how it started out with, with the story. It just kind of fell through, like, early on, and then yeah, they changed... I guess, like, the, the mood of the movie? Yeah. Kind of? Yeah. 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 Like, it was all, like, depressing, and it was about her, like, losing her family in the beginning, and then they... Right. They, they totally don't, forgot. Uh, they just left it out after, like, the first, like, 20, what, 20, 30 minutes. None of, the, none of the characters were very likable. No. Not, no, not really. And so, I was kind of thinking of another sophomore effort by an up-and-coming horror movie director which was us and honestly i think that us was a better like second movie you know everyone had big expectations like maybe it wasn't as good as get out but it was a lot closer to as good as get out than midsummer was to right sir yeah yeah well it's because they portrayed midsummer as being like this horror movie and it wasn't horror at yeah all. definitely it was, not a horror it movie. wasn't even really like a thriller it was more like psychedelic almost yeah it was like the wicker man meets uh the room it, had, it was a lot it was really artsy like it was done beautifully like the imagery but like it wasn't that that was it it was just imagery yeah yeah they don't even show you any of the uh people that die you just kind of oh pop up oh oh dead guy so as one film critic put it you know it was a it was a stinker, not a thinker. <laughs> Mike. I'm your boy Perry, a.k.a. Don Donsky. Well, that's our uh, opinion and our review on uh, Ari Axler's uh, Midsummer. I, <clears throat> would you recommend it? No. Yeah, it's, it's a long movie, too. It, I mean, it's really long. If you want to, like, admire, like, the imagery, maybe, but I don't think the storyline is it doesn't flow well and i don't think it's worth sitting two and a half hours to watch yeah so no i don't recommend it yeah just go try to put some ikea furniture together and eat some swedish meatballs all right guys hope that that, that helps you out i'm gonna go take some lactate oh <laughs>